Welcome back. In today's session, we will be seeing how to create a password file on Oracle 11G database. First, let's see the, uh, the database that is up and running. We have a database called Prime and uh, we will set up the environment variable for that particular instance. The instance name is Prime and then we will go to Oracle home slash DBS directory which is the default directory for the password file okay and we will create the password file by using uh, the utility called aura pw aura which aura pwd you can see that the pa password file uh, script to create the password file is the aura pwd which is located on oracle home slash bin directory now we can just issue the command aura pwd help equal to okay so it's uh, when you are giving aura pwd help equal to y it's showing you the usage the usage is the u usage is aura pw aura pwd file equal to the password file name and then uh, the entries equal to the usage um, and maximum number of uh, users who got the sysdb privilege force equal to yes if the file is already there then override the files ignore case yes or no it's also optional value which says that in oracle 11g as we discussed earlier uh, oracle 11g use the the passwords are case sensitive so do you want to ignore the case um, or use case insensitive option that is uh, uh, you can give it and no sysdba privilege that means whether to shut down the sysdba logon or or it is not to say that nobody is allowed to connect it using the sysdba privilege basically the um, aura pw the password file will help to uh, connect to the uh, database remotely using the sysdba privilege or it requires the exclusive sysdba privilege uh, or um, the connection to the database exclusively from the um, uh, servers which is other than the database server if you wanted to connect using the sysdba privilege then we require the aura uh, the password file or also it is uh, it's all another another usage is that to validate the usage without connecting to the database then the password file can be used okay now we can issue the we can create the password file by giving the command aura pwd file equal to aura pw then the sid name the the password file name will be aura pw will be having the password uh, the format aura pw then the sid name for example in our case it's a sid name is prime okay and i want uh, to have five users to be using the password file and force equal to yes if i wanted to override the password file i want to ignore the keys equal to yes and i am i allow the uh, the sysdba logon so i'm just leaving it uh, for the um, uh, uh, for the um, default value and the no sysdba privilege or no, no sysdba option is used when we are using the uh, a feature called a database vault since the database vault is not configured here i am ignoring it now press the enter key the we can say that the password file will be created now here this is a change that's happened on oracle 11g is that if you have not specified the password um, in that case it will be prompting to enter the sys password here i'm providing the password oracle so the password file is created the same thing i could have done with the uh, option that is okay before before coming to that option let's see whether the password file is created or not you can see that the password file or a pw prime is being created now let's remove that or else let's keep 
the file and let's see whether we can give the password along with the command line itself or a pwd file equal to or a pw prime password equal to oracle entries equal to 5 force equal to yes ignore case equal to y the password file is created you can confirm this one okay now to use the password file we have to uh, to use the password file and connect uh, from the remote servers then we need to have our remote login uh, equal to the, the the parameter remote password password file login should be either as shared or exclusive so we will be seeing the parameter file and see what is the remote password file uh, entry mentioned on the parameter file so let's log into the database slash assist dba clear screen show parameter remote here you can see that remote login password file equal to exclusive hope this is clear in uh, next uh, uh, example we'll be see how to connect uh, to this database using the password file okay now i am on the second machine now let's uh, uh, check whether the the uh, tns entry for the other database is set or not we'll give the command tns spring prime so it is connecting to the first database which is on my home uh, vaishith 11g r40 now let's okay it looks like that the listener is down so i'll start up the listener so now ctl start i have started the listener now now let's go to the second node and see again a uh, tns ping okay now the tns ping is working now let's connect to the database by using the sysdb privilege uh, using the password file that is sys slash oracle at the rate prime as sysdb okay the i could uh, connect to the database now the question uh, will be coming how, how to guarantee that it is using the password file to answer this question let's go back to the primary database and shut down the database and start up it start up in the mount stage so in the mount stage we will not be able to we know that and we will not be able, oracle will not be able to validate the user from the data dictionary so at that time let's see whether we are able to connect to the database so i'll go back to the um, sec first node connect it to the database shut down immediate exit first let me do one thing let me rename the existing password file i'll give the command mv or rpw prime to or rpw prime dot back okay now what i'll do that i'll start up the database in mount stage Okay 
database is mounted. Now let's go back to the second node that is our version 11 G41 node and let's see whether we are able to connect to the database using the sysdb privilege. Now when I given the when I given the command SQL plus sys slash oracle prime as sysdb it is saying me that insufficient privilege because when I am giving this uh, username and password and without the password file oracle is trying to validate the user using the um, uh, with the data dictionary and the data, data dictionary information is not there so oracle is not able to validate the user. Now let's do one thing. Let's shut down once again. Rename the password file to original value that is MV or a PW prime dot back to or a pw prime okay now let's start up the instance in the mount stage this is just dba start up mount okay now let's go back to the first uh, this one uh, to the other machine that is YC 11 g 41 machine and see whether we are able to connect it to the database issue the same command now we are able to connect now we again check select open underscore mode comma name from also name comma host underscore name from v dollar database comma v dollar instance you can see that the database in mount stage which is running the database name is prime which is in mount stage and running on watch 11 g r40 so in this case we can confirm that we are using or the instance prime uh, which is running on the watch 11 g r40 is using the password file hope this session is clear Thank you.